Hello, my beautiful people. Norway, that is the country we're going to talk about again today. Have you seen my semi-final one reaction? Check it out if you haven't. On Saturday, the 21st of January, semi-final two rolls in. Right, semi-final one featured seven acts. Four are completely out of the race, including fan favorites like Joust. Three advanced. The three that advanced were Unami Tsunami with the song Jeromino, Ulrika with Honestly, and Alessandra Melli with Queen of Kings. Today, for semi-final two, we will be reviewing an additional seven acts. Three will advance from this stable of songs. Okay, shall we talk about it? Let's do this! First up is Sandra Ling in semi-final two. The song is called... Can you just write it on the screen, editor? Because I cannot pronounce this. There's a lyric video for it. Hitting play. Soft, dreamy. This has a soothing, relaxing quality to it. I quite like this. Lyrically sparse, but she can definitely build. Great vocal, very clear, very crisp. The trouble with song structure sometimes is that it builds into this sort of pseudo epic moment, but it transitions out of that chorus very sharply. So the verse dips on the second spin. So it's like you build, 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 then you crash, then you build, you start building again. And by then, it's difficult to court attention. And now it's building again. Oh, I like this. The voices, the choir of voices. Na, 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 na. Although this song, this song is sung in Norwegian, it's not as traditional as you think it might be. It's very contemporary. These are like modern produ production techniques here. I like it, but a part of me is thinking, what else do we have in the pack, you know? It's a good song. I mean, it's Norway, right? It's Norway. Quality is expected. So I'm just gonna hold fire before I earmark this as a favorite. Let's see what the other six have to say. Moving on, the next song is Joan. Echo in it Meg is a song title. So we know it's also going to be in Norwegian. This is exciting. Hitting play. Okay. Again, I like this so far. You know this song needs choreography. Oh. Some songs should be crafted for TikTok. A minute is enough. What, what, what are we on now? Oh, we're not even on a minute. Now it's a minute and I'm out. You are golden, but I am done. Okay? We move on. We move on. Next up, I like the song title here. It's called Prohibition. The act is called Swing It. Is it going to be swing? Oh, my God. Hitting play. This is a throwback. There's some musical styles that I just don't care for. I 
I think I need to see this live to appreciate it more. In its current form. The only prohibition here is enduring this longer than I care for. 49 seconds. You are golden, but I am done. Okay. Semi-final two is actually proving quite easy compared to semi-final one. Okay. This is such a shame. I wish Kate Goulbranson has been in, had been in the semi-final because then we would have seen her in the final. Ah, oh, good heavens. Right, who is next? Next up is an act called Ella. The song is Waste and not W-A-S-T-E, is W-A-I-S-T, your waste. Okay, hitting play. She looks great. And what a waistline. I love this, by the way. Yeah. Sounds like a song I'm listening to in 2023, right? So far, at least. Yeah. Honey. Honey. Yes. Shut up and watch my waist. Don't watch mine though. You need to have a certain body proportion to kind of flex on this. This song is perfect for Melody Grand Prix 2023 because autotune is allowed. So all these effects that you're hearing on her track now will be presented to you live. Because she can do that. This is the song for today, isn't it? And it's got some tribal beats as well, packing into it with these vocoder effects and digital flourishes and you know there's going to be choreography with this. I don't care for spoken word. I read really, mid-track, it's such a letdown. This must be Norwegian because I don't understand a single thing that she's saying. It feels like three minutes already, but we are two minutes and 16 seconds. So, or, you know, needs a bit more shape, more dynamism. The, so the track itself that I'm reviewing is two minutes, 33 seconds. You know what? And even stops before then. So two minutes, 29, you know. Oh, slim pickings here. It's not bad, but, you know, a part of me feels like, I don't know, just, it could just, it could just be so much better, right? We move on. Alejandro. Oh, there's a song title called Fuego. So automatically, when you come up with this, a part of me just feels like you're asking to be compared. Alejandro versus Eleni Ferreira. Right, this track is not ready yet. It was meant to be. So we're gonna just, I'm just gonna review the, the snippet that there is available, which is only a minute. Hitting play. Guess what, I actually like this. It's in Spanish. It's got those, it's got that sort of Latin push. It just sounds like something that forces you on the dance floor. There's a joy de vivre about this. It's festive, it's, yeah. Maluma baby, I'm all about it. Oh, I like this. And my man looks good. Ink my flesh one more time. I mean, this has also got Fuego as a song title, but you can't really compare the two actually, because this Fuego stands on its own as a male dance bop. Yeah? 
I like this. This is probably, you know what? So far in semi-final two, this is actually my favorite. So that really pitches it. And this is a one minute snippet that I actually now want to hear more of. Okay, we move on. Next one is Beyond Ed Varson. The song is called Turn Off My Heart. But let's keep my AirPods plugged in. Hitting play. It's funny how much I care about a male ballad. The tiniest things can get me to tear up. Fills up Very my emotional. Head, controlling my thoughts. Maybe you know. Beyond, this is his first time at Melody Grand Prix, but he was in Norwegian Idol in 2005. And he's been on The Voice. He's very well known in Norway. He's also been a songwriter. He wrote I Can't Escape. And he was also one of the songwriters on Unami Tsunami. I'm journeying with this because the lyrics are so impactful. But then I have the benefit of understanding what he's thinking about. If I didn't, this would be so sleepy and it's building but in a very predictable way right this is not lighting up new songwriting techniques you know this is it's almost like this is the music give us the lyrics and he's done a good job here with the lyrics but it's also rather safe However, he does convey that sort of innermost desire. I respect this. Yeah, it sounds like a song that an ex West lifer would put key change. An ex West lifer or somebody in a boy band would kind of come out with on their solo mission, you know? It has a very 90s quality as well. Do you know what? It's funny. This just sounds so polarized a review. Like there's some things I'm saying which are amazing. And then the other things I'm saying which is like, really? But yeah, some would love this and some won't like it. Just to oh, okay. To restart. I wish I could turn off my heart. Turn off my heart. You know what? You know what? Th this is good. I think the lyrics are the strongest element to this track. But it is also very syrupy. You know, it's like, you know, like a, a soppy mill ballad. <sighs> That's just the reality. Okay, and the final act to be reviewed is Elsie Bay. Now, you would remember Elsie Bay because she was like, Fire. We actually thought she was going to win the last time she was at Melody Grand Prix. I say we. Many Eurovision fans. She had an amazing song. Go check it out. Anyway, she's back with a song called Love You In A Dream. Hitting play. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Had I, reached out for your hand all those years. I love her voice, by the way. Do you remember her from Elsa and Emily, that duo? Fire. She's also a songwriter and she's been in Melody Grand Prix quite a few times. The Death of Us, oh my God, I still listen to that. She also wrote Hammer of Thor. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, beautiful composition with quality lyrics. I love this. There's a sense of poetry here. Oh, love this instrumentation. I'm all about it. This is absolutely spellbindingly beautiful. Do you know what? I think that even if, when you, when you compete with songs and you don't advance and you don't win, I think, it's unfortunate, no doubt, it's disappointing. But you need to hold your head up high if this is what you're submitting. Because this is just quality, it's merit, and 
LCBA has been fairly consistent in putting out really good stuff. You've got to applaud that. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is good. This is good. Oh, okay. Okay. Overall feel of Melody Grand Prix. Always quality. Always good. Semi-final two. The weaker semi-final compared to semi-final one. Collectively. There are songs in there that I simply don't care for. Don't care for. Of the seven songs, three are good. Actually, no. Two are good. Two songs are good. One of them, I only heard a snippet of, but I really like it. That's Alejandro Fuentes with Fuego. That one minute... If you can give me another two minutes of that, love you, love you, all the feels feel you. The other song, in fact, my absolute favorite in this pack is Elsie Bay's Love You in a Dream. I could have sat here for a full half hour of that cinematic. I was absorbing it, yeah? Love, love, Elsie Bay. You are the queen. Middling, middling numbers. Beyond all of the some turn off my heart, you know what? Sometimes I did turn off my heart. It it was undercooked, but also overcooked in parts. Ella's waist, oh my god, two and a half minutes that felt like four. Elements I liked, but then there were also elements that dipped. And the other ones, forget it. Did mm -mm 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 -mm. I appreciate your artistry? I didn't connect with it. However. You are golden. Hey, Deben Adarami is my name. It's been fun tuning into semi-final two, actually, of Norway's Melody Grand Prix. I haven't been for this um, national selection live. Hope that changes next year. I'd actually quite like to go. Love, love, love Norway. Follow Wimmy Blogs on Pinterest, and we will see you later.